Hey, look, the timing is still out on that. Hey, get out of here. Whoosh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's happening over here? No, that's something in front there. It's this. Hey. Oh, scary. Green screen, baby. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hold on to your butts. Scary has subscribed not to tier one, but to tier two for nine god dang months. Currently on a nine month streak. Good on you. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate it very, very much. Lee. It makes me feel uh, warm inside. Jedid says green screen shuffles. Yes, it's happening. It's finally happening. It's been sitting in the corner for the longest time. Um, and uh, yeah, I finally had a little bit of free time to bust it out and uh, and start messing with it. Hello, um, Imperial Matman as well. I'm wearing the shirt. I knew that uh, I knew Jaded would be here. So love that, love that that beard. That's a really dark beard. So yes, I don't, I don't, I only bust it out for special occasions. So this might be my Monday shirt. Um, yes, thank you again to move that fucking mic out of the way. It says on the bottom, Shuffles 347, I think that's really cool. Um, <laughs> thank you for dropping in last night. That was this morning my time. Um, but yes, thank you very much. Oh, what have we got? Imperial Matman just subscribed for three months in a row. Hey, thank you very much. I'll have to settle for two or three. <laughs> yes, three it is. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, that's lovely. We're off to a up to a very great start. Lots of love. Lots of love. Um, yeah, I was really happy to be able to uh, drop in on you, um, Jaded, and actually catch you live, which was really nice. And playing Worms as well. Just, uh, yeah, such a classic. I remember playing Worms. I might have been the demo for Worms just yonks ago, before all of this 3D nonsense. Um, yeah, um, it was just like the same map over and over again because that's how demos worked. And uh, yeah, I think I would, I would, I'm not sure whether I versed the computer or versed myself. Loved it. The new ones are pants. Pants is in bad. The new ones are not good. There's a battle. Isn't there like a battle royale now? Now, sorry, just before we get too into it, that is my mic arm there. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I am still, I'm still under the weather. I'm still not doing well. <laughs> um, I was off work sick today. Um. But um, so, yeah, I'm going to be muting the mic to to sneeze, cough, blow my nose, all that sort of stuff. Um, I prob probably shouldn't be streaming, but, you know, I can't stay away. I can't stay away. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I my apologies in advance. And I might, you know, mute the mic and then forget to unmute it. So you'll need to yell at me for that. You seem poorly a lot lately. Yeah, it's just it's just that time of year. I mean, the kids are spreading stuff. I don't know how I get sick. I mean, I'm wearing masks everywhere, but no, it just, um, last Friday came down with it and it, the weekend has been really busy and, and, um, risky and I haven't really had a chance to just lie in bed and, and recover. Um, risky if you're in chat, can you please go give Shifty a hug? <laughs> no, she's juggling. She's juggling Levi at the moment, whose sleeping patterns have gone a little bit funny he's not he's not going down um uh in the in the evening as as easily as uh, he used to hence my streaming at 7 30 now so we're trying to work around that thanks shifty for helping <laughs> not sure if not sure if sarcastic i <laughs> uh, wish i could be there i've got work honey <laughs> um anyway now nah, don't mute make get that shifty asmr oh wow yeah sure i can sneeze into the mic you're cleaning it but oh thank you yeah, so there you go. I bet oh, she's not going to like seeing this. Mm. Eek. Monday rum. Anyway. Um, so anyway, that's the situation. That's the situation. Um, she's a power mom. She's done. She's doing really well. Oh, oh, Jesus. A hype train is close. <laughs> Bing. Love you. Love you, sweetheart. Thank you. Um, so what were we talking about? We we're talking about how great Worms is. Yes, Worms is great. Love loved uh, dropping in on you guys and um, also catching um, Archer as well. I'm not sure we've seen him on on camera. I'm impressed. Risky can juggle a baby. Well, that's why you have to have three kids. You kids, it's only really juggling once you have three. You're welcome to come try. It. Yes, actually, <laughs> come come babysit sometime. Um, there's a. 
actually, you know what would be really cool is a little um, uh, little autocorrect bot that somehow like can post can can change the the incorrect grammar, but so nobody notices, and it just whispers to you saying, "I got you, mate." He was only on a cam- on camera to squat with me on his shoulders. What he has only. He was only on camera to squat with me on his shoulders. Wow. That is impressive. There's a guy who doesn't skip leg days. Holy shit. We were testing for Mikey's drawings. (laughs) Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm picturing a really, 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 really tall... um, uh, em- emote um because i'm an old man sometimes i say emoji instead of emote but yeah one of those um where you have to like chat one above the other so it can be like his top half and then his bottom half and your top half and then your bottom half and then you can just go bew, 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 spam them wait that sounds weird it does everything sounds weird out of context oh my right eye will just water occasionally so i'll look like something bad just happened and, eh, but it's actually me just you know, just doing a bit of this. Anyway. Oh, dude, what have we got? Jaded Phoenix has cheered 10 biddies. Yay! Um, I really I really want to update the emote drop to um, to be able to do show bits and um, maybe do something a little bit fun with them when they come down. So that's, that's one of the things that's in my backlog at the moment. Um, there was something else that I did today. Oh, yeah, I did a little bit of work on the... Um, on the the tremor overlay which is responsible for the emote drops and stuff to make it easier to plug in commands down the track so that's kind of cool um there was something else i wanted to mention before we get started but it is escaping me no it's gone all right cool anyway um awesome we're off to a cracking start why don't we jump into some games play some games we're playing dishonored oh that was the other thing i wanted to say um, I know that I teased Jaded in your stream that I was going to play Night in the Woods. Um, I saw the trailer for it. It seemed really charming and really nice. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer for for Night in the Woods, not a Night in the Woods, just Night in the Woods. Um, oh, you want to want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I will get to that question in a second. Kuroth, how did I find Halo? Um, it's a really cool trailer. It's it's kind of a nice, neat game. It's a very very flat art style, sort of very. It's like a. It looks like it looks like kids graphics, but it's not kids graphics. Um, I like it. I like the art style. I was drawn in by it. The music was nice. I think it's a it's an indie. It it smells like an indie title. Um, so that's all. I I like that. I like indie titles. Um, they're usually quite um good. They take more risks than like you know main main studio titles. Um, anyway, but, uh, and I also saw it was leaving Game Pass. So if you want to play it or you want to check it out, jump, uh, and you do have Xbox Game Pass. I recommend you do have Xbox Game Pass if you have an Xbox. It's, um, it's, a uh, pretty fucking good value. It's, it's like, if you've got a Chromecast, get yourself some Netflix. Um, so yeah, check it out now because it is leaving. I don't know when, maybe it's in a week, maybe it's in a month. I don't think it's going to take you too long to play through the game. Um, but I played through a little bit today, just a little bit of a test screening to see um, if I was going to vibe with it um, before I streamed with it. And it's a bit slow. Um, it's more in the sort of Undertale side of, of things when it comes to reading a lot of dialogue. There's no combat. Um, the only sort of action part of the game I came across was was playing a bass guitar in a Guitar Hero style fashion. Um, so yeah, it was very, very slow. And it's it centers around a uh, a young, young lady, young girl, oh, she's a cat, so a woman cat, lady cat, female cat, um, who is, um, has dropped out of college basically and gone back to her hometown and then stuff and she's just like reconnecting with people and i think maybe you eventually get to a point where there's some shenanigans afoot i tried to just sort of get to the point where something interesting would happen but nothing um interesting you know by my definition did happen so uh yeah i'm gonna pass on that as far as streaming goes jada says i was gonna give it a go but may leave it uh, if it's quite slow oh you might like it. it it's it's dialogue heavy um 
and it's not really my cup of tea, but I think it is a good game, and I think that I'm just not in the demographic, like in that target audience that would like it. Um, but I recommend you give it a go, Jaded, and it's not just because the main character is a girl and you're a girl. Um, it's just because I'm uh, impatient, easily distracted, uh, <laughs> and uh, all sorts of other things, and I don't think that you... Um, uh, share those qualities that's a compliment by the way so yeah no check it out if you've got game pass um spend an hour or two with it and see how you go i would actually like to know what you think of it um and sometimes it just comes down to what mood you're in so anyway no night in the woods but another game that was on my backlog dishonored definitive edition uh which i bought and i have it on playstation 4 um why am i not playing it on playstation 4 you know what you know what I think I might have to do a comparison. I think I might have to do that. Not right now. Thoughts on the Mario casting? Well, let's... Um, well, the Mario casting one is easy. My thoughts... <laughs> really like the look of Dishonored. I like the look of it. Haven't, haven't played it yet. Um, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Scary, I, I love that you asked that question. I'm going to come back to the Halo Infinite stuff. Um, my thoughts on the casting are this. Um, initial reaction is uh, like the donkey video I posted in the Discord. Uh, it was just like, that's a ridiculous choice. And then the next choice was ridiculous. I think the, the least ridiculous choice was um, uh, What's Her Chops from... Um, uh, I play chess a lot and have the eyes. What's that one? Um, oh, is it Queen's Gambit, Ladyface? Yeah, Queen Gambit Lady, that's right. Her as Peach, I'm like, yeah, whatever, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I don't picture Chris Pratt or Chris Pratt's voice when I when I see him, Murray. <laughs> Anna, some of some, some of my Bob, yeah. Um, Anna, Anna something something, yeah, there's like a thing. Um, yeah, I thought it was a bit weird. I thought it was just a matter of, it really felt like they just said, all right, who's popular right now? Let's attach them to this project. Um, it's celebrities, it's Mario, you know, like, let's just fucking cast that wide net. Let's make it vanilla. Let's make it unoffensive and just try and capture as many dollars as we can. And it's from the, if I'm not mistaken, Illumination, the, um, the Despicable Me, Minions, etc. I think they also did, uh, the Lorax as well. Anna Joy Taylor, that sounds close enough to be correct, Jaded. That worked in the 90s. Well, okay. Um, yeah, if you look at, at like Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Dennis Hopper, and just the whole insaneness of that. Um, if, was it was it early '90s? The early '90s Mario uh, Brothers film um, that was completely off, like off brand. It, it felt like it, I don't know, it didn't even feel like fan fiction. It was cr it was it was really really out there. And I was I, I watched the trailer again recently for it, and I actually thought, you know, good on them for just going like. I mean, the movie wasn't any good as it turned out, but that's not because they went in a different direction. It's just because it, it you know, it had some shitty jokes in it, and it was bizarre. But it was it was like peak, peak eighties almost, like peak early nineties. Cross says, I mean, Peach doesn't really have a personality, so she has the room to do something with it. But the rest is just bizarre casting. Okay, my prediction is my prediction is this, um, and <laughs> and to get my prediction, we need to go all the way back. Do you remember the Lego Movie when they announced that, and people were like, and me included, were like, uh, "What a Lego Movie? What the fuck? Um, what's the story there? There's no there's no story there." Um, and uh, I don't think I saw a trailer, but I did go to see the movie because I had kids. I think I took my kids to see it. Not 100% sure. Um, might have used them as an excuse to go see it. Depends what year it came out. But when you go and see it, it's doing... It's, it's actually just telling a, 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 its own... It's telling its own story and it happens to just leverage the the um, the world of Lego to tell that story. And that's kind of cool because it's got... It's had some funny people, some funny performances, and uh, some shit-hot, like, 
animation. Like, how great did the Lego look, by the way? There's a there's a, a digital effects artist react video about that, and they or um where they actually talk about it's the lighting passes that actually make it look like super duper realistic. It's not just the fidelity or the resolution and the smoothness of the animation. Actually, the animation isn't super smooth. It's actually just the the crazy amount of lighting that that this amazing lighting technology they employed for it that made. There's the reason why that plastic looks like plastic. Um, but it's not, um, so yeah, I, I think we're gonna, so there's that, that was like, that's pretty crazy. Um, you know, it's a Lego movie. What the fuck are you going to have a movie about? And I, I was, I, I was impressed. I enjoyed the movie. I thought the movie was great. And then next comes, um, Lego Batman. Who's Batman? Will Arnett. Has anyone ever pictured Will Arnett as Batman apart from Will Arnett? Probably not. But um it worked and um i mean michael sarah as robin like that's a weird one as well right <laughs> Gura, do you have <laughs> is there anyone you haven't pictured will arnett as will arnett as the tick would be an interesting one i'd probably i'd probably watch that but then again i watch all sorts of shit scary says i think what bothered me about it is they said charles martin martine is going to be making cameos in the movie. So why the fuck not just cast him as Mario? He's the iconic voice that everybody associates with Mario anyway. He is the voice of Mario. That's Mario's voice. Chris Pratt, is he going to do a fake Italian accent? Oh, there. I don't think there'll be a fake Italian accent. Remember in... Um, or is Mario just not Italian anymore? <laughs> um... Yeah, I think they'll, I think they go, they did say that, I think they were going to race swap, is what I, was the rumor I heard. Um, Jack Black as Bowser, I'll accept, that kind of works. Well, yeah, he's just bizarre and, and you can, you can almost, I mean, what does it, what does Bowser even sound like? He just sounds like, rah, rah, rah. But the rest is just random as hell. Yeah, it does sound random as hell, but here's my counter argument to that. Um, I don't think that Mario's voice is particularly interesting or entertaining or really... I mean, I would not like to hear an exposition dump by Mario in that voice. I think it's it's probably almost so stereotypical it's on the, it's on the nose. Jack Black is surprising range. Yeah, I, Jack Black is browser... As browser... <laughs> As Bowser, um, I don't have I don't have a problem with. But here, here's the thing about the the voice of Mario. I- I'm I'm glad that he's associated with the project. I think that's definitely definitely seems like the least he could do. Um, I'm kind of at that sort of like Chris Pratt saturation point. Like, uh, um, so I, I'm I'm a part of my not. I, I do have a little part of me doesn't want to see Chris Pratt in the role just because it's like okay, you've been in enough stuff, dude. You know back to Pawnee with you um and uh I thought that the the whole like tomorrow war was just a little bit of a like was very just generic and and we'd kind of reached a point where it's like okay you don't really have a lot to say you're just generic action hero guy it's you're picking Chris Pratt because Chris Pratt not Chris Pratt because amazing you know there's certain characters that you put in stuff and you go yeah we're gonna see him in it because he's fucking awesome Chris Pratt is likable entertaining but dude is pretty average as an actor uh, I, I guess the more I know about him, the less I kind of like him. I like Chris Chris Pratt, don't get me wrong. I really liked him in the Lego movie. And I liked him in Parks and Rec and all that sort of stuff. But now we get to... Now we actually get to the point, And that is, with the Batman movie, it was, it was a Batman parody. Like, who was the Joker? Jack Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. The, the guy from Hangover. <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. Right, as the Joker. Again, that's weird casting, but it worked because A, it's an animation, you don't have to look at his face, and B, the Joker they were going for was, was you know, enough of a, of the Joker to be the Joker, but also, you know, that whole bromance, that sort of like bizarro anti-bromance thing that they had going on um, with, um, you know... Uh, with Batman and um, and Batman, you know, who, Will Arnett was was parodying Batman, like it was such a parody, but it was fucking awesome, and I I loved it, and so I think that's probably what we're in for when it comes to the new the new is it just called the Mario movie, or <laughs> it's called Mario makes Nintendo more money. It's called License to Print Money, the musical. 
Um, I think that's what we're going to go. That's what we're going to see. We're going to see some very self-aware, very 2021 or 2022, um, very current year kind of, you know, humor and observations and, and stuff like that. Um, if they don't do that, if they try to play it, play it straight, um, it's going to fall flat on its face. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I predict. It's just going to be real tongue in cheek and a real, almost a parody of the franchise. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I think. And that's why the, the casting really doesn't bother me because as long as it's some people who can deliver some good performances, but Chris Pratt as Mario it's not because he's not Mario enough to be Mario that I have a problem with it. It's just because it's like, ah, can we, I've seen enough Chris Pratt. Can I have someone else now? I'm just glad it wasn't fucking Spider-Man. What's his name? Captain Babyface. I don't know what his name is. I'm just glad it wasn't him. <laughs> uh, Scary says, I was watching one of your favorite creators live react to the Nintendo Direct and they were announcing the cast. It was like, please don't, be James Corden, please don't be James Corden. Oh, uh, that's right. Jim, 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 James Corden, um, or just James Corden. Um, he was, uh, that rabbit in that rabbit movie called Peter Rabbit. I didn't see the sequel, but I didn't mind him in the first one. I did have to go see it. I did take my kids to see that. Scary says, one of the comments was, we were so afraid of James Corden that the threat of Chris Pratt went undetected. <laughs> Girl says it would be nice if they gave professional voice actors work instead of flavor of the month celebs though. Bums in seats, Kuroth. Bums in seats. That's the thing. They they want to yeah. The those names on the marquee. Uh, ask your parents what a marquee is. Toby Maguire. No, not Toby Maguire. I'd go see it if it was Toby Maguire. I'd go and see it. You know who I want to see in the in it? I want to see friggin' I want to see Harry Potter in there. I want to see what's his name? What's his name? I want to see um, Edwin the Ed, not Edwin <laughs> Edward the Vampire. Names are just escaping me. My brain is running at like twenty percent capacity at the moment. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield uh, is not commenting on rumors that he is in in the latest Mario movie. <laughs> Matt Mercer just annoys me now. Who's Matt Mercer? I've got to look up who Matt Mercer is. Matt Mercer does sound like a character in a Marvel comic strip. It's got that, uh, what do you call it? Alliteration or whatever. When, uh, whenever you have the, a word beginning with the two words beginning with the same letter, Matt Mercer, where is that? From? What the fuck was that? Oh, that's actually noise coming from real life. Sometimes sounds aren't coming from games or computers or phones. They're coming from real life things. Mel Blanc used to butt bums, put bums in seats. Uh, <laughs> used to butt bums in seats. What he does in his, in his own time, man, is his business. Don't judge. Voice actors can do it. Yeah, but the thing is, you, you, it's the normies, man. The normies don't know the names of voice actors. Unless it's Mark Hamill. Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer. Matthew Christopher Miller, better known as Matthew Mercer, is an American voice actor. He is best known for his work uh, with Studiopolis, Viz Media, and Bang Zoom Entertainment, Funimation, and some other stuff. Yeah, but what is he in? Apparently, he's in Monsters University. Uh, if you want to do that. Uh, Hunter x Hunter, Resident Evil Vendetta, Critical Role. Now, okay, yes, I haven't seen any Critical Role, but I, I really should. Um, I hear it. I hear it's good stuff. I hear it is good stuff. Oh no, wherever I'm lost. I've lost chat. Here we go. Matt Blank. What about Matt LeBlanc? Same guy. He voice he voices McCree in Overwatch, and yeah, yeah Dungeon Masters. Um, Critical Role. Yeah, haven't played any Overwatch, don't know any of the characters. The the most Overwatch I have seen is is uh, is the parody stuff that that sometimes appears on Donkey's channel. And thank you for that information though, Jaded. Um I'm done with Critical Role now. Oh, right. Yes, cool, cool, cool. All makes sense. 
Uh, Son of a Dungeon. I might just plug Son of a Dungeon. I'm interested to see um, to see that. So I, I like watching the Corridor Crew videos, um, just their visual effects artist reacts and the stunt artist reacts, just because they have some really interesting guests on the show. Folks from Pixar, guys that have um, stunted on, I think that's how they, what they say, they say stunted on uh, like the Marvel movies and stuff. Um, and uh, like Guy De Silva. Anyway, it's a cool show, and they are actually starting their own little Dungeons and Dragons like um, situation where they actually are also doing like visual effects to reenact it. So it's kind of the way I guess like um, uh, was it Dan Harmon did one right Harmon Quest, and then I think they animated that as well. So yeah, it's similar to that. So if you like Dungeons and Dragons and you like you know cool current things, then you might want to check out Son of a Dungeon uh, Corridor Crew. Click the link in the description below. Scary says, lurking because I'm going to work, oh, through a video course. I have to prepare for an important meeting tomorrow morning. Okay, cool. The mods are asleep. Post pictures of sinks. Okay. So, yeah, how I feel about that in summary is, yes, it's a bizarre casting choice on the surface, but I think because we don't know what they have in mind for the project, it'll probably make sense once it comes out. So I I have faith, and I'm going to go see it either way, and I hope it is a Batman, a Lego Batman situation, um, which will be cool. And I don't have to look at Chris Pratt's face. That's fine. Scary Lab says, and my important meeting comment went over his head. It did, Sorry. Looking because I'm going to work through a video course, I have to prepare for an important meeting tomorrow morning. <gasps> That's right. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it did. It did go over my head. But I get it now. Um, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that uh, that Hello World Roblox level. Cool. Um, thoughts on Halo Infinite? Um, I, need, I need something that, like a little heading that pops up. Um, uh, also, for, so when people are scrubbing through the VOD, they can see what I'm talking about. That actually be pretty cool. Just put the subject of whatever we're talking about in the. Just type it into a little box. Um, although it'll have to change constantly. Cool. So I got to play um, in the Halo Infinite um, technical preview on the weekend, and so did <laughs> so did my kids, um, the lucky bastards. And uh, yeah, so. What was different from the first preview is that we actually got to play, um, we had more opportunities to play PvP. The first day on Saturday, there was um, two four-hour windows, of which I caught one, um, and we got to play just some Team Slayer, and it was a nice experience actually playing against some real humans instead of just uh, bots. The bots were really good. The bots were a good challenge, and I think that... Um, the bots are going to be a really great way for uh, for people to like warm up before they jump into some like ranked matches, I guess, um, and just for noobs to be able to who when I say noobs, I mean just people new to the franchise or new to FPSs um, and online shooters and stuff to to sort of cut their teeth on. So those are really good. I like the bots. Uh, sometimes they were a little bit too good, um, but playing against people was cool. Um, it was nice to get to play against people again um, who weren't so heavy on the grenades. Um, the bots were able to do just really good with grenades, um, which is great because you learn to counter that stuff as well. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so a couple of extra weapons. Um, there was a there's a firing range, um, uh, firing range mode, a training mode where you could train against bots, and then there was the multiplayer where you just go and do the arena. That was on Saturday. Um, same three maps, nothing much more to report there except for they are cool maps. I think my favorite is probably a toss-up between Live Live Fire, um, which is set at the Avery Johnson training something or other. It's a training center for Spartans named after um, Avery Johnson. Rip. Uh, Sergeant Avery Johnson. And uh, and Bazaar, which looks like it's almost plucked straight out of uh, like... Um, Modern Warfare 2 or something like that which is a good thing I like Modern Warfare 2 um, so yeah uh, the second one Bizarre being a, a very symmetrical map it's good for like CTF and stuff um, so on Sunday my time we got to play um, um, some a uh, little bit of an action not action sec excuse me um, some uh, random objective games so there was Land Grab and uh, Capture the Flag um, capture the flag were, was on, oh, 
was on Bazaar, and then I think Land Grab, aka, oh, it's not, I don't think it's Land Grab. I think it's called. Uh, it's not Domination, which is what it is in COD. It's not Land Grab, which I think it might have been called and pre been called in previous Halos. It's something like Lockdown or. Uh, the word escapes me. But that one, capture the three points, hold the three points. Um, th that was on Live Fire. I really like Live Fire. It's a nice, it's a, it's an asymmetrical map. It's got three lanes and uh, most most of the maps sort of, oh, do they stick to that structure? No, they really don't. Recharge is all over the shop, which is probably why it's not my, wasn't in my favorite map um, because I think it just, was a little bit of a labyrinth it has great verticality and lots of different paths but it takes a little bit to master so i think with some time on that map um yeah you can really catch you can really uh catch new people off guard because there's a few sort of low points to sneak out of high points to sneak out of and um, lots of alternate routes and stuff anyway land grab was okay i'm just going to call it land grab now <laughs> um it's uh the problem i have with it is um and i think i only got like one or two games with it it's nice and quick to capture the point, even if you're capturing it on your own. Um, you throw your AI that you select in your customization menu out and they capture the point for you while you run around. Um, I don't, eh, it doesn't really add anything because you don't get to like sit and look at it anyway. Um, I just think it's a random, it's, it's a way for them to try and make the AI seem irrelevant so they can sell you AIs, but whatever. Um, the scoring was really weird. So I believe you only actually accrued points once you uh, had all three bases held. It might have been two out of three. It was pretty hectic. Um, I'll have to go back and check the tapes. But um, you'll you'll hear you know zone captured or zone lost or whatever, and then you'll then the announcer will say uh, your team is scoring or the enemy team is scoring. So it's only once you hold a certain number of them, I think it's all of them, that your actually that your score goes up. So we were we were jostling for point for 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 points um uh you know for flags B C and A um the whole match with the enemy team and uh if when we had a look at how many minutes that we had like captured I had, a, I had a respectable number of minutes like captured like I've captured this zone and I've held that zone for however long those numbers were very similar between teams. However, the difference in points was um, was quite stark. I think it was first to 200 wins. They hit 200. We were on 50 or 40. It was, no, it was 40 something. So it was less than 50. And the, if you look at the number of kills and the number of time spent ca holding zones and stuff like that, it was a very close game, but then you look at this other metric. This is yeah, but who hold, held onto all of them for the longest? Um, was like just night and day. So I, that that sucks. So hopefully they they tweak that and they piss that off because that kind of that's kind of a bit stupid. Um, I felt anyway because you want to see you want to see your effort rewarded, and if you feel like it's a close game, and if all other signs point to it being a close game, you want it to come out being a close game. I don't mind, you know. I don't mind getting my ass handed to me if it if you can you can tell the whole game it's like yeah no this is this is not going our way, um, but anyway so that that was land grab it, you know really nothing really exciting there I mean it's it's a pretty good go to um, game type anyway uh, then there was capture the flag capture the flag was kind of cool it was um, it was the the version of capture the flag we played was hold. Um, you have to return your flag. You can't pick up your flag and take it back to base. You just have to sort of sit on it for a bit and then it gets returned. Um, not sure if you can score while your flag is away. Pretty generic capture the flag type stuff. Um, hit, get it. Flag melee was not one hit kill. And I really think it should be because you can't hold uh, a gun and shoot. I think it is Halo 5 where you can actually run and gun to some degree. You, you, you get a pistol while you're holding the flag. Um, yeah, uh, but in this one, no, so it's just melee. So I think by the, if you're capturing, if you're holding the flag and you melee someone with it, especially when you look at the, at the render of the thing, it's got this fuck off big spike on the end of it. Um, it should be a one hit kill, just like when you have the oddball skull. Now there, I would have loved to have played some oddball. Um, that would have been dope. Um, there was no FFA or oddball or anything like that. 
Um, yeah, but apart from that, yeah, it was pretty standard. Bazaar is a good map to play CTF on. Oddball is so fun. I love FFA Oddball. That was like in Halo 3. That was that was my jam. Love that. Um, yeah. So my impression so far is um, the weapons are cool. They're all reasonably well balanced. Um, I do have a bone to pick with the Bulldog. The Needler, um, I get mixed results with. Um, the uh, the pistol is, I think, my favorite weapon because you you start out with it, and if you if you can keep your if you can keep your um, enemy in your crosshairs and you just spam that trigger, you can take them down pretty well. Um, but it is hard to well, it's hard for me to land those land those shots. But I love the pistol. The reload on it is super fast. They don't give you so many bullets that you can just you know be crazy and spam it everywhere. Um, but yeah, I really like the pistol. I like the I like the sidekick. Um, it's it's better than that sort of slow hand cannon. It it feels like a pistol should feel, but it's but it's got really good accuracy at range. That's um, uh, but it's not as it's not as effective as at range as the uh, something like the battle rifle is. You can you can really pick people off at range with the battle rifle. It's got a better scope. It's got your three round burst. So I think it I think it fills out. The sandbox nicely so i like the pistol um the assault rifle is pretty fucking deadly um it acts more like an assault rifle in call of duty sorry mr mike um than it does the assault rifle in halo the assault rifle in halo would act more like an smg in call of duty so um yeah the the pistol assault rifle loadout you're you're pretty you're pretty uh deadly with that, those weapons um which is good because that was the that was the um, default loadout for all of the other for all of the game types we played um so that's quite cool i mean i'm not going to go through all of the weapons but i will say this about the bulldog i don't love it um i don't like the aesthetics of it um as a replacement to the classic shotgun um yeah you got to be brave and you got to make moves and and sometimes it means replacing an old weapon with something new that's fine you can't you don't want to be stuck in the past um and it's not an ugly. It's not an ugly weapon. It is. It's got this nice sort of bluish sheen to it. Um, but I miss the classic shotgun. There's something about the classic shotty. Um, the other thing that's different about it is the reload mechanism. So it's a barrel-fed um, situation. So when you reload, it, whether you're reloading one round or reloading the whole thing, it takes the same amount of time um, based on my limited time with the weapon. So um, asterisk, I could have some of this wrong. Um, and so. With that comes a, a a change to how you would use the shotgun. So, if you have a shot, uh, the classic um, Halo shotgun is if you have eight rounds in it and you fire off four, then you only have to reload four. But each round takes, let's say, one second. I'm not sure what the time is to reload it. So you have to find four seconds to to reload it. Now, if you've if you um, get down to zero and you're empty, and you run around the corner and you know you quickly reload you, you get two rounds into it and then someone comes around the corner you can stop reloading and let off a round and then you're back to only having one in the chamber and then you're like oh gotta quickly get it in there um so i think that that's that creates a um, an interesting dynamic reload dynamic right um and i think that's cool to have different weapons in your sandbox that uh that behave in different ways like that um and now that the now that the shoddy now that the the bulldog replaces the traditional shoddy and you can just replace all the rounds at once that is sort of changed it just becomes like any other weapon now um where it takes the same amount of time to reload no matter how many things that you real um, how many rounds you're reloading um uh, does it really matter yeah maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't um but yeah, it doesn't feel quite the same, doesn't sound quite the same. Um, yeah, but apart from that, um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's all we'll go into with that. Otherwise, we'll be here all night talking about Halo Infinite. Um, still excited to get my hands on the main game. Um, the only other thing I'll say is that the metagame sucks and that the customization... Cool, 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 cool. Oh, cool very cool, very cool, cool. <laughs> very cool. You scared the shit out of me. Um, thank you. Um... 
the metagame sucks customization sucks um and like progression sucks um in my humble opinion now it's going to appeal to other people but it's not going to appeal to me um if you want to hear my rant about that i think it's in the vod or it might have been during one of those times when i was muted <laughs> who knows um but we can talk about more talk about that more another time and in fact if you want to see more halo infinite or you want to catch it live then uh next weekend this weekend uh, there's going to be another um, another window to play the beta, and it's going to be focused on big team battle. And I'm very keen to play big team battle. I love big team battle because the the pace of gameplay is slower, and uh, there's usually more people for me to kill from far away because I'm a coward. Um, so yeah, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I'll uh, I'll tweet out when I'm going to go live with that sort of situation. Um, yes, and with that out of the way. We're going to jump into some actual gameplay now of Dishonored. <laughs> I'm going to wake up my controller. I'm going to wake up my Xbox. We're going to do it. If you have any other questions, um, yeah, feel free to hit me up. Um, happy to answer them. I have many, many opinions. <laughs> and they're all for free. Oh, all right, cool. Let's go. Is it 8.30 yet? Oh, shit. It is almost 8.30 yet. It's almost intermission time. We should probably do intermission. I'm going to do a quick intermission now. Uh, and then when we come back, we'll, we'll play. We'll play. Um, yes, absolutely. All right, cool. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, take a quick, <laughs> get some cold meat. <laughs> Maybe. Intermission sounds good. All right, cool. I'm going to top up my drink. You top up your drink. And uh, I'll meet you back here in a shifty five. <laughs> All right. See you in a minute. Woo! Gameplay. Look at that. That's different. That's not like last time. Right. So here we are. Back from the break. Um. <laughs> so I have tried to tweak the green screen settings a little bit. Um, and this is the best I could get, come up with in, on short notice. Working like a charm. Good stuff. I do, do have a little bit of greenness. Uh, a green aura but then people have always said that about me um and there's a little bit of dancing um with some of the some of the stuff in fact i'm not sure that this thing is at the correct brightness this light here anyway um yes one second i'm gonna just turn down this light i don't have my remote on me more for me Turns out that that's apparently correct. Um, yes, cool. So this is our maiden voyage. Uh, this is going to be, you know, a little bit of uh, imperfection, but we'll uh, we'll work out the kinks over time. Straight into it. Oh, damn it! Quick resume. No, I don't want to. I don't want to resume. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's. I wanted to treat you guys to the uh, the actual intro. So let's quit this game good and proper. Never mind. Oh, just a heads up. Name, email, flashing on top. Oh yeah, you can send e you can send emails to that. That's my name. My name is Nathan Brennan, and that's my email address. You can send me emails there. <laughs> um, thank you for thank you for the heads up. See. <laughs> um, yay! Here we go. Here's the splash screen. It's very sweet of you to point that out, though. I do appreciate it. When in doubt, point it out. That's my motto. Oh, geez, that's not good. Arcane Studios. <laughs> Does not like the color white, apparently. Here we are. So yes, once again, this is Dishonored, the definitive edition. What makes it definitive? I do not know. It comes with all the DLC, and I think it's been rejiggered for the Xbox uh, One, um, but not the One X. So here we go. So I can continue or go new game. I'm going to go new game. 
let's have a look. We've got the downloadable content here, which is Dunwall City Trials, the knife of Dunwall, and Dunwall Brigamortis, Brigmore Witches. Okay, so it's just the first one. Cool, let's go new game. We're gonna go hard, I think. Um, we're not casual. Uh, don't mind stuff being normal, but I think hard is hard is the way to go. Okay, that here is fine. All right. Creating a new game will overwrite previous auto saves. That's fine. Returning home, you have just returned from a journey of several months visiting the other nations in a, the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. Uh, you must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Why the fuck did I go away if I'm the Lord Protector? Shouldn't I stay and protect? Did I? Was it a secret assassination mission? Was I secretly assassinating somebody? Is a best best defense is a good offense, as they say. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has yeah, taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. I'm married, but thanks. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Or don't come back. Renhaven River. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Next off line. Passing off. We're away. Oh. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. Apparently, I don't. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. <laughs> Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. Death. We need help with the rat plague. All right, so I'm calling bullshit on the on the spy master straight away. Those little birdies there. The spy master was the one who sent me away. Oh, the freaking whale! How about that? Oh, there. We're going up. <laughs> Where else would you be going? Weird that they would. Uh... Oh, at last! Goodness. Oh, Red Haven. Seems a lot of effort to go through to like to raise the boat up. Um, when we just saw ropes do a perfectly fine the job. The Empress will be waiting for your news, Corvo. Hello. Let's talk. Fair voyage, sir. Yes. All quiet up here. Yes. Corvo, the Empress will be in the pavilion when you're ready. Yeah, I know my way around. I work here, dickhead. That's a comfy ass chair for a box. Look at that. Luxurious. Oh, I can't search. I can't search the box. So the art style is kind of interesting. Oh, hello. What was that? I <laughs> can just stand on shit. That's great. The dude can drive a boat. Goddamned. Such a clean entrance into the gate. Yeah. Almost like it was on rails. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Oh, I love that. What an interesting mechanic. I feel a little bit like Batman. Oh. Oh. Dude, can I get up there? No, not quite. That's kind of fun. Yeah, right? 
So for, I don't know anything about this game. I haven't, I haven't played this game. I've seen very little about it. I've seen a trailer where somebody stabs somebody in the neck. I know there's like a mask at some point. I think you even get some like special powers, but that's all I know. There he is. Good voyage, sir. Oh mate, it's great voyage. It was really good. Have you seen the seats they got on the boat? That's great. Highest water lock in the Empire, they say. Uh, I bet you say that because you work here. Soak a lot fiddle with the hydraulics, and it runs like a dream now. Okay, cool. I think that <laughs> that rat you're killing behind there is dead by now. Welcome back, Lord Protector. Right. It's an honor to see you. Oh, it's an honor to see you. You were lucky to get away for a bit. The plague is only getting worse here. Oh, well. Oh, dude. Crank? Crank wheel? Should we do it? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Very interesting. Oh, if I had my BMX, we could do a sweet jump. How are you getting off the boat? <laughs> That's mean. So these manhole covers are bad manhole covers. Hello, Fewer hello, ships hello. moving along the river now, with the plague and all. Did I just talk to you? She's waiting in the pavilion. She's ready for you, sir. She's not happy. This character is busy. She says to tell you to come at once. This is all sounding very, like, phrasing. Won't let me talk to him. Gives me the prompt. Won't let me talk to him. Oh, I can I can get all dangerous and climb up here. Oh, can I jump to my death? Yeah, <laughs> oh, very good. So that's the boat. Those are the boats that I just came from. Went la 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 la, and in here, I can't zoom. Oh, I need to, I need some zoom. Jump up on that? I think I can. Oh, all right. Cool. Hello, sir. Hello. The spy master is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. He's a sus. She's in the pavilion, sir. She'll be glad to see that you're back. Awesome. You keep saying that like I know what the pavilion is. I know she's been worried, Lord Protector. Um. So my character knows what the pavilion is, but I don't know what the pavilion is. But I suppose we have this waypoint marker, right? This looks positively Greek. Also, whose job is it to sweep up the leaves here? Her Majesty is waiting in the pavilion. I hope it's good news, sir. Things are getting bad. It's not good news, though. Good to have you back, sir. Oh, thank you. That's very welcoming. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a gargoyle. Lol, lol, lol. Alright, let's do it. Some we nap animation. Ship, please, were there any whales? Wait, let's were there any whales? first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. I don't think she likes it when I leave her. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I gotta practice my stealth moves. Okay, here we go. Oh. Run with me. All right, I'm coming. Why do I have to run? Why are you in a hurry? You don't have a job. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? I did. My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. She sounds horrible. Ooh. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Stealth time. Press B to enter stealth mode, also known as crouching. Then stay behind cover to break a line of sight with enemies to avoid detection while sneaking your footsteps are muffled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
this will be a good spot. Okay, this is cool. Leaning around corners. By holding Y and then pressing left or right on the old sticker Rooney, you can learn you can learn around corners. Uh, allowing you to look ahead without enemies uh, being all up on your grill. Alright, that sounds great. Let's do it. Wow. I love a good lean mechanic, by the way. So now I've released from the controller, but it's still uh, got me in the lean position. So. <laughs> Okay, well, somewhere else then. Oh shit. Give up already. Okay, you win. We should go now, so Mother can see you too. Ah. Uh... What if I don't come out? <laughs> I'm not that mean. Hey, here I am. Well, you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Yeah, I think I've got something going on with your mother, just based on what I'm, what I'm hearing. Oh no, um, yes, there it is. There's the mantle I wanted. It's a parkour shit right there. Okay, wonder if there's any hidden goodies around the place. Yeah, so far the art style is pretty interesting. Almost looks like a, like a, not a watercolor painting, or like an oil painting. Where'd she go? Oh, speaking of. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Uh. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Huh. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Do I talk to you? Hey. Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. Yeah, we get it. Your, your mum's keen on me. Hello, High Observer Campbell. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. Oh, wow, I'm you're one of those guys. I must ask you to hold your pose. <laughs> He's not going to. No foreigner can save us from the consequences of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Uh, okay. So you're a, you're, you're, you're a racist lug Luddite. That's nice to know. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. That is right. Yes, exactly. Um... Can you jump into the water and go back to the boat? Artist and alchemist. Man of many talents. Uh, where's my thing? Where's my thing? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Cool, yeah, so my shirt is flickering a lot, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Alright, can we jump into the water? I think if we jump into the water, we die. Let's have a little look at that, uh, just real quick. Can I lean while standing? Yeah. And lean while crouching. That's cool. Oh, he's dead. Oh, snap. That's kind of cool that it rolls. Go, go too long tonight. -y. <laughs> Don't go too long tonight. <laughs> Insta death. Oof. Resume from last, uh, last save. Whoopsie daisies. I didn't save. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, gone, mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Oh, the jumping is a bit weird. More climbing lessons? Someday I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. Yeah, I don't want to be responsible for that. The jumping is weird. It's 
It's almost like I'm being pulled back down, not by gravity, but by something else. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They yeah, I suppose we can skip the this, right? To beg for aid. I don't like skipping stuff, A waste stuff, of though. time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Okay, cool. So we'll run over this guy. We'll I'm talk to not him. so sure that painting looks like Campbell. It does. It's it does look like Campbell. What are you implying? You saw my improvements to the waterlock. Oh wow! And now he's a, an engineer as well. I leave the worst parts of him in shadow, but still. Mm. <laughs> See what I'm forced to paint. The high overseer is no beauty. Oh, so you should only paint beautiful things? That's a bit, that's a bit fucked. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. Yeah. High overseer. No I fun. must ask him to save us from the consequences pose. of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Remember, to every man his inside. choice, to every man his fate. He does, ha does have some Say what you chops. will. This plague has brought the faithful to our doors. The desperate. Say what you will. This plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Oh, dude. Cut. Crystal cider. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. <laughs> I suppose I can paint him without the cider. Though in truth, he's always close to the stuff. Who? Remember, to every man his choice, yeah, to yeah, every yeah. man his fate. Exactly that, right. So your fate is your own your own fault, basically. <laughs> no such thing as being a victim of circumstance. If anything see goes you wrong, once. it's your own stupid fault. Good to have you back, sir. Thank you. I hope it's good news, sir. It is not. Why do you wear your gun there? This is gonna be the most awkward place to wear your gun. It almost looks like a glitch, like it's meant to be on their back. My sword. Where do I get a sword? It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Thank you, Jeff Corner. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. Why would you say that to me? Either you're very weird or you think I'm weird. I'll be happy you're back with the watch. I'm no diplomat. <laughs> yeah, if you keep, if you keep talking about your hot knees. Strange, we saw whales off Whitecliff. It's too early in the year. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. Dude, kind of bend it out. Post, eh? No dodge. I was wondering where the women were. Here's one cleaning. Hello, my lord. But don't let me interrupt you. Why are you dressed that way? <coughs> this character is busy. <laughs> uh, perpetuating traditional gender roles. They're sick people. Not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Oh, hello. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. You're a bad Corvo. person. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. Dodgy. Alright, so that guy's gonna friggin' stitch me up. Calling it right now. Follow me, Captain. We should leave them alone. You got something to say? Lord Protector, I know the Empress will be delighted to have you back. Don't you have a message to deliver? Yeah, I'm delivering it to you, pal. That's what you're fucking back. All right. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? Take me with you on a trip one day, please. Okay. If you don't die in this opening scene. Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. I'm glad you're here. Cheers. Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
Here's the letter. We are disinclined to acquiesce your request. <laughs> Means no. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll oh, wait to no. see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Oh, she... Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Alright! What the hell? Um, press the right trigger to attack with your right hand and the left trigger to attack with your left hand. Uh, how about a gun? How about a gun, bro? That'd be great. Uh, if you have a weapon or power weapon equipped. Oh. Oh, shit. Press and hold right B to block, uh, right bumper to block an incoming sword attack. Okay, so this this raises an interesting point right here. So we've had a few we've had a few um, sort of like flash ups like this that'll tell you explicitly like what to do in a certain situation. So it's it's a little bit immersion breaking. It doesn't let you naturally discover um, how to do something. Um, tutorials in games it's always interesting to see um, what they spend time bothering to teach you and how they how they teach you. Um, so we saw an introduction to stealth before you needed to use stealth mind you but there's an opportunity to sort of semi in world explain why you would use stealth with the hide and seek game which is kind of cool but then it, they also flash up the cards that tell you exactly which buttons to press in which um, situation so in that case why bother with the introduction to stealth in the in that sort of organic way with the hide and seek game if you're then just going to turn around and throw up an instruction and just say, like, do this. Hey, Doom is here. Looking crisp. It's uh, it's still a little bit flaky. We're still working out the kinks, but I'm I'm glad that it's that it's at this level. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can even make myself bigger if we want to. Good to see you, Doom. By the way, how's your Monday been? How's your Monday? Um, yeah, so here we are now. We're thrown right into the action and says, "All right, you have you you have no no uh, no notion how to fight, uh, and so um, here's here's how you fight now." And so they throw up the cards and they give you text instructions, and it breaks the the momentum of the scene. Now, I could understand why they don't want a tutorial level at the beginning of the game because they want to open their game with this this whole I mean shit going sideways thing. So if shit's gonna go sideways, why bother? Why bother telling me how to play at all? Why even bother giving me a sense of agency during these cutscenes? Just show me what you want to show me from a story perspective, and then once you know, once we've gotten through this this prologue, then then you can hit me with these flashcards later on when it's when they're, when I'm actually in some in some gameplay where pacing isn't perhaps as important. Back the green screen is looking great, yay! Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit translucent at times, um, both in this context and just generally. Doom's Monday isn't too bad as far as Mondays go. Yes, as far as Mondays go. <sighs> yeah, man, <laughs> I feel you. It's not always easy, but I do love it when games manage to to work in the. Um... I mean, when was the last time you went to a website? Wow. Hey, wow. <laughs> when was the last? Uh... Oh, you missed mine. Yeah. So, Jaded, tell me what happened with your green screen. I don't know where your green screen went. I, I noticed on the last stream I dropped it on you didn't didn't have a green screen. Um, when you go to a website or you're on the internet at all typically in in 99 of cases there aren't instructions there's these general generally things are in the same place and there's a there's a certain you can use your intuition to find your way around usually and that's fine you don't read instructions for a website 
um, or, or even for an app for that matter, you sort of have a bit of a poke around and, uh, and that's kind of cool. Um, and so because they concentrate on UX, like focus really, really hard, obviously they do that on games as well. But when it comes to like the actual gameplay mechanics, um, it's really neat to see the, the inventive ways that they, that they reduce the friction, um, of a player learning how to interface with the, with the game. It's quite cool. Oh, it was using too much CPU as your laptop is trash. Oh, and you had to downgrade your stream setup. That sucks. Shame as I had just paid for my subscription to that site. Oh. Is that... Is that uh, you didn't have a physical green screen? Is that why? So you were, you were, it was like a, a software green screen situation I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember exactly what your situation was with that yeah because it, it came with your Logi stream cam right right yeah um I know that um yeah there's certain software driven ones like obviously if you've been in a zoom meeting if you change your background but that that's sort of I, from what i gather it takes a lot of um you had a free trial with split cam and then ended up paying 30 pounds for a year oh well at least it's for a year it's not too bad hopefully you can still sort of recoup some of that if maybe if you upgrade your laptop later in the year maybe yeah no i definitely i went with the physical i've got a physical lap um physical green screen here let me see if i can oh it's too big i can't reach it's too mess with it um but uh i was gonna bend it down so you could see behind it but it's my don't have my go go gadget arms no using the chroma key doesn't doesn't um use a lot of cpu like right now we're sitting at um 11 cpu which is really good um also because i don't have the animated overlay oh my god my voice is gone <clears throat> that's the problem I just needed more rum anyway yeah I definitely recommend the physical one um, rather than using your 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 laptop resources for um, to use the, the software driven one um, if you if you don't have like a fuck off big graphics card or whatever um, all right so anyway let's move on we're about to get our shit ruined <laughs> Corvo, thank you. Okay. If you hadn't been here, no more, not again. Mommy. Get away from her! Corvo! Oh, 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 I've been framed! Corvo! It's all coming apart! Find... find Emily! Protect her! You're the only one... You'll know what to do! Won't you? Corvo! Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. Really? What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Really? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Really? Him. Really? Really? That's what happens when your protagonist can't fucking talk. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay, so I don't like setups at the best of times because they, like, they're so unjust, they're just unpleasant to watch. But that was just fucking lazy. Lazy. So dumb, so lazy. 
So, uh, oh, who sent all the guards away? I don't know. Who did send all the guards away? Why did the guards go away? Are we, I, maybe we'll get an answer for that, but I tell you who didn't send the guards away? Me. I spoke to all of the guards, and at no point did I say, go away. Whoever told the guards to go away would be the person who the guards would be most sus on, right? That's so stupid. And of course, like, no one sees these assassins, like, jump in and, like, n no one sees this. And we're, it's broad daylight, we're in the, we're in the middle of the fucking pavilion, on the, uh, you know, somewhere where so many, like, direct line of sight, so much direct line of sight. It's absolute horse shit. Also, I fired my gun to shoot a bad guy, and that didn't attract, attract anyone's attention. It's just fucking lazy. Really, really lazy uh, writing. Anyway, uh, here we go. Dishonored, six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spy master uh, of murdering the empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Coldridge prison, the time of your execution draws near. Gee, I hope I don't die. <laughs> hey, Matt Mans, good to see you still with us, buddy. <laughs> Again, my, my outcry is twofold. One, because of the terrible injustice that just befell that character, who is me. And then the other one is just because it was just like, it's pretty cliche. You can see it coming a mile away. But anyway, that's the, that's the hand we're dealt. That's the game we're playing. Why offer me to skip? Don't offer me to skip. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind my head. There it is. This is your right final right. chance, Grovo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. How about get fucked? That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo. The Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. Right. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at, at the right, the right time. time. And someone has to take the fall. Good the same person who took your head. Arthur. God! Take him back to his cell. I'm so glad that they took time to tell me their, um, their evil plan. Dude looks like he sleeps face down on sandpaper. <laughs> you should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. What makes you think I wouldn't eat? I'm hungry. I've been in here for weeks. Pausing. I'm reading chat. Uh, Matt Man says, been lurking, uh, although had a few interruptions, thanks to colleagues. Still here, though. <laughs> Pesky colleagues and their, uh, their work. I'm guessing that's the toilet. Oh, faucet. Alright, so drinking water doesn't help. Oh, dude, I've got a window? Dude, I can see the sky. There's some birds. That's not bad. It's nice. I mean, imagine being stuck with like a, you know, that for a toilet and no window. That's not too bad. Ceilings are fucking ridiculous. I got sunlight. Dude, this is a nice cell. Oh, I want my bed. How big's my bed? Oh, it's a cement slab. Okay, so that could be that could be better. But you know what? I got bars on the window. Oh no, I was gonna say it could make a hammock, right? Yeah, not quite a hammock. You could do a hammock from here to here, but then you don't know if people might come and fuck with you. All right, what's this say on the wall? It says, "A little fire that warms it is better." Then a big fire that burns. 
I guess that's a, like a like a gonorrhea reference. This is a nice cell, definitely has. This is a nice boulder for energy from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to watch that movie again. I love it. What was I watching? I was watching something to do with Shrek recently. Um, oh, it was uh, Shea Frillis talking about Shrek the Musical. Um, I'm gonna post it because I'm I'm a fan of I'm a fan of uh, his work. Let's have a look. Oh man, sorry, my my eyes are still playing up. Uh, if I'm if I miss any bad guys while I'm shooting, it's because my eyes are playing up. Uh, Shrek the Musical. Shay... F I don't have a spell. Is Shay Frillis? <laughs> close? Nope, not even close. Oh, Shrek the Musical cancelled. <gasps> That's not good. I'll post it later in the, in the Discord. It's really good. Uh, I remember seeing that in the cinema for the first time. Like, I used to see movies. Movies? I used to see movies um, before they had, like, a, a reputation. Like, well, as soon as they came out, I'd be like, oh, this is interesting, and then I'd go and see it. Um, when I eat this bread, it's going to have a key in it, by the way. Or maybe a file. Or. What's something that's, like, really useless? Just chewing gum. I know how much you love gum. Um, yeah, so I would. I, there was this sort of point where I would be able to watch movies before they, before I knew what the reputation of the movie was, and it was kind of cool because I got to make up my own mind about it before, um, you know, your your uh, your view or perception of it was swayed one way or the other, this way or that. Let's eat this bread. <gasps> Corvo. Who are who we are is irrelevant right now. Well, then why lead? Why open with that? Just know that we have faith in you. It's my parents. It's my parents who I thought was dead. Uh, here's the key to your cell. <laughs> I don't need the key to my cell. I'm already in it, idiots. Uh, oh, once you're out, right? That makes sense. Uh, head for the prison's interrogation room. Man, I hate that place. Take the explosive there. And plan it in the corner. Why is there an explosive in the interrogation room? When the bomb goes off, run. Away from the bomb. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. <laughs> Come to Dunwall. Lose yourself in our many varied sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. Looks like you've got some frauds. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, okay. Um, I better read these instructions a few times. I need to take to the, the key to the cell and uh, go to the prison interrogation room. I guess there'll be a waypoint marker or something like that. Take the explosives, blah, blah, blah. Can I get, to, can I read this again? Is there like a... Why is he getting further away? Who trolls? Is there like an options menu? Yay, options. So some parts of this interface have been um, high resed for um, for the for the new consoles, but this um, this particular interface it's kind, of, it's kind of got like mixed assets. The text here uh, that says inventory, which you can see way over there. Um, actually, you probably can't tell on this because uh, you're, you're probably watching this on 720. Um, it's crisp, uh, so it looks like it's like been um, re remastered or whatever. But the actual uh, graphic around the word inventory is visibly blurry on the screen. Um, so. Um, you might not be able to see it on the on the stream, but there's definitely a mixed bag with regard to um, certain things being uh, crisp and upscaled or, or, or remastered, and some things just being uh, blurry. All right, so objectives: take the weapon, find the explosives. Oh, I can set that. Very nice. 
Oh, dude. I'm getting ex real strong Xbox 360 vibes. Uh, and I love it. Mission clues? Ooh, nothing. Mission items? Nothing to display. Take a weapon. No, it's an anonymous message. Cool, so I can read it again. Oh, look at that. Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh, ammo upgrades. Oh, I like upgrades. I think I'm going to like this game. I never got a chance to make that hammock. Hey, it's a rat. Hey, dude. Is it true what they say about you guys spreading the plague? Nah, mate. It's fucking mice. <laughs> Don't be racist. All right. Uh, we all... We all... Something. We all start with innocence. But we would... But... The world... Needs us guilty. Okay, cool. I guess that's my health on the left. I'm not 100% sure. So the lighting is great. I, I do think the art style is pretty cool. I'm, enjo I'm enjoying the visuals. It's uh, it's nice. All right, let's unlock this shit. You used Corvo cells. Key. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. I don't need shit from you. Someone said they were going to leave a weapon outside my cell. I will have you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll have some money. Yum, 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 yum. Where's the interrogation room now? Can I close that door so it doesn't look sus as hell? But the world leads us to guilt. Oh, right. But the world leads us to guilt. Thank you. Yes, because that's an L and that's an L. Thank you. Thank you. Why won't it read? All right. I guess the interrogation room is this way. I'm not going to fucking kill a guard for doing their job. Are you insane? With a sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing RT or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold RB. What? It got options it looks like. Yes, okay, cool. To perform a non-lethal takedown. Right, yes, yes. Lethal stealth and non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers. What is a weeper? <laughs> I love these graphics, by the way. Look at this guy in the middle having his shit ruined. Fucking hell. That's a bad day. That is a bad day. Uh, some people react favorably, and the final outcome is not as dark. Oh, what? Alright, well, cool. Well, I'm not gonna fucking kill anyone. I'm not a psychopath. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. If I abducted her, where is she? Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. Let me out! I've got three days before they cut my head off. Yeah, but you probably did some shady shit, man. Hey! Kill a guard for you, will you? Attention. Yeah, see, I knew you were fucking shady. Off limits to Burn this place to the ground. Unless it's kind of brick, so of it's really, really hard. And the flat jaw in here. He's got to get me out. In with one oh, week's You're playing your own escape, man. Make your own friends. What about You're you? Out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Yeah, I know why you're in here. Can I have your ring? Why do they let you keep your ring? no one in this cell oh hello there ain't no way I'd steal from the Boyle family I just worked on the roof See, this guy seems like he's legit no kill playthrough can you do a no kill playthrough look I'll I'll kill baddies I think I killed a baddie curse those rich milk bloods for putting me here 
I'm not sure if milk blood is like a racial slur, like an ethnic thing, or whether this is like a class thing. Here, I never Attention. did nothing. Will be restricted to the personnel this character is busy. Trust me, he ain't busy. He got time. Now I'm gonna die for nothing. You should Man. bathe. I can smell you from here. Plug someone else. Ah, I'm in myself. I'm in myself. Ah, oh, no. Watch out. You're in the red. I'm already in my cell. What do you want from me? You guys have been unreasonable. Oh no, I died in my toilet. Oh, I knew it would end like this. Resume from last save. Uh, not sure. Haven't played, but could be interesting. Yeah. So um, I can try. I, I I like the idea of going for a non-kill playthrough. A <laughs> shit ending. <laughs> what a pisser. Um, Elvis, what? The Elvis death. Oh, did he really though? Is that just, I hope when I die, people don't make up rumors. And actually I hope they do. When you said no kill playthrough, it did ring a bell about, um, different ways to play through. I mean, it might be this game. It could be a similar game I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm not going to do like, don't kill nobody. I'm just going to play in a way that comes natural, I think, for the first playthrough. And if it's really good, I might do something else. But um, I'm not going to kill a guard in a prison. It just seems like a shitty thing to do. Um, look at wives, man. Then again, they are very unattractive men. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, they got money. They got money. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like doing this. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just couldn't do that in front of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's resume. I'm not going to break my butt doing a no kill playthrough, but I'm certainly not going to... I'm going to try not to kill any innocent people. Um, because I do not like to kill innocent people. That's just me. So many people are coming to the execution tomorrow. There ain't no way I'd steal from the Boyle family. I just worked on the roof. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter. Curse those rich milk bloods for putting me here. Do you really get executed just for pinching something? I should be here. Now I'm gonna die for nothing. Dude, I wish I could help you, eh? These fuckers are dodgy. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Hey, kill a guard for me, will ya? The solitary wing is all in here. He's gotta get me out. Unless accompanied by Let an officer out. of the wall. I've got three days Escort before they the cut my head off. Wing must be all right, three days before they cut you off. That's pretty fucked. All right, here we go. With one week's notice. Okay. All right. Help. Just get out of here. I never did that. She lied. You're going down. Watch it. Damn you. All right. Is there any way to escape these guys? Oh no. All right. So I died. Oh, that's rude. Uh, should wear a green shirt for stream just to be a floaty head. <laughs> That'd be cool. Alright, I'm not going to talk to those guys um, anymore. What was that? Oh, did I run? Oh, yeah, that was a bit silly. <laughs> Whoops. Can I go back? Maybe wind or something. Well, I don't know what you eat. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Stop talking to me. Burn this place to the ground. You should bathe. I can smell you from here. <laughs> okay, so Let I just out. need I've to make sure I kill. Before they cut my head off. 
Please shut up. I need to kill this guy while no one's looking, right? <clears throat> Alright, this might this might be tricky. Maybe I could do this on normal. We'll see how we go. Stop it! Can I make some noise somewhere else? Oh. Aha. Don't slack jaw him in here. He's got to get me out. Aha. They're not going to notice their friend is gone, right? Huh? All right. Yeah, I can hey, do this. Kill a guard for me, will you? Shut up. I can I tell you what, if you be quiet, I'll kill a guy for you. with signs of the sickness? I don't need shit from you. <clears throat> How am I going to get behind that guy? I've already got one of those swords. How do I get behind this guy? He walks up there. He's gone around. Come on, turn your back. Turn your back, you fucker. Yeah, that's the way. Ah. Arms. Get around him. Oh Stop shit. Where the hell did you come from? Ah. Damn it. Help. Are you going to just fight yourself out or can I get away oh, from this guy? Take. Someone help me out. No. I'm screwed, aren't I? You're going down. Help. Maybe I can just sneak past that guy. Assassin, help! You're gonna bleed. Damn you! Damn it! I can't outrun him. Someone help me out! Dump you in the river. Damn it! Bastard. Oh, that was my head! Oh. oh! But I didn't see my body, which is weird. Okay. So I'm starting to think that if I don't want to kill innocent people, I'm probably going to have to play the game on normal difficulty. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to be here a, we're gonna be here a while otherwise. Stop it! Count of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter Emily. So it's an occasion, right? A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. I know it didn't work. All right, fine. It was worth a shot. Unless accompanied by an officer of the law. Oh, I can just evade them. You guys don't know how to climb? We need to handle this ourselves. Oh. Before it gets to the cabin. We'll fall apart on me. We'll get it. There's two of us. How did you know I was here? <laughs> oh, the, oh, there's so many of them now. Ah! <laughs> All right, cool. Maybe I could run past them as well. I don't know. I suppose I could. There's nothing to say I, I can't. I can get rid of that first guy. Do I make a noise and lure Some them out? People are coming to the execution tomorrow. Stop it. It's on account of Corvo. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. <laughs> so it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the high and mighty. You see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. Okay, so that's the thing. They're as bad as us betting on the dog fights. Burn this place to the ground. Shh. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. 
escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Seen anything scary? Blow off. Is that gonna see me, is he? No. Yes! Stealth for the win. I wanna pick this guy's pocket button. His, I want to pick his pocket though. No, no, stupid goddamn Dublin son of a gun. So what I've got to do is wait till this this guy goes over here, kill him. <coughs> Where's this other guy going? going well. I'm learning. I'm learning. Just going for lunch. Hey, enjoy lunch. Fucking longer do I have my fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Got to sleep. Yes. Good, good. I love how you can hear them snoring. He's just sleeping. You know the rules. <laughs> what you getting? What are you buying? Oh, I hate that noise. The solitary wing is it's off limits to like maintenance me. crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Hopefully so. Yeah. Pistol. Reload. I've got one bullet. Whale oil tax. Oh, hello. Hello. See, now this is another uh, asset that's a little bit low res. Good for the city. Good for us all. New price. Get shafted. Enjoy it. Oh, I like this. I like I like being able to climb up on stuff. It's pretty cool. That's the worst notification sound ever, by the way. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Approach the ledge, ledge and press A to climb. I will. Unbreakable door. Hold X. Keyhole. What? Yard walk. Yard walkway key needed. Hold X. Keyhole. What? Oh. Now I have to use my left. I have to reach across the control. So those rats I keep hearing about. No wonder they've got rats. They don't even try to keep this place clean. Oh no, hang on. I hold it and then I'm in and then I can move around and then I press to exit. All right, cool. So nobody on the other side. Okay, so no one's busted through this door because I, I didn't raise the alarm yet. Health elixir. Are these going into my inventory? Whale meat. Oh, I love it. The hound pits. Oh, these are the dog fights. This is terrible. Scudder versus Blackie. Wager on the most vicious hounds in the city as they rend one another. Fucking jaw and fang. Well, that's horrible. Come to the pub known for its best ales and freshest blood ox. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, tin of brined hagfish. Oh my god. This might just be the most... Oh, did I eat it? Ready for 
regular bullets. Okay, okay. Uh, let's have a look in our, sorry, in our inventory. Yeah, okay, cool. We can carry these elixirs. Restore health. Use the quick access wheel. We haven't been introduced to the quick access wheel. And some money. I like this currency. Oh, it's got that piece of shit's face on it. Is he the spy master? What an asshole. Kieran's got... Oh, Kieran's got Corvo's cell key. And our City Watch sword ammo is regular bullets. And no one grades to speak up, but that's fine. Can I save or some shit? Oh, save game. Yes. Yes, we can save scum on this game. Love it. Uh, select. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love it. And faster saving than the old, um, Let's, let's watch that again. Are you ready? One, two, three, like just so much faster than uh, Bioshock. Oh, I love it. I, I like looting. I like stealing. I like taking things. Well, oh, there's some insta eats. Maintenance crews, unless accompanied Ooh, by an officer, <laughs> escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled He's in just advance in with one week's notice. I just want to open it nicely. Huh? Oh fuck off! I know you're here, but where? Got you now. Dang it. You're going down. Yeah, boo. Load game. Auto save. Oh, so many auto save. Uh let's see where it auto saved us. One, two. Wow, what a place to auto save. <clears throat> ah! Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to drop you down the stairs. Where are we going to put you, lad? Oh, I'm so strong. I'm glad that I've been working on my upper body. You go. You sl sleep it off with your with your pal there. Okay, this is cool. I like this. My closed doors. Yeah, that's the yard. But where's the interrogation room? Well, I can stand on a bucket. Dynamite. getting some mild um the order 1886 vibes can i go, i'm just gonna see if that's in my backlog to play because i really enjoyed that game and i would and i know that you can play it with um at 60 fps on the ps5 um 1886 i think that's the order 1886 let's have a look da -da 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 -da. trello looking at my boards where are my boards they've changed the interface recently and i am Workspaces, streaming. Boards, games to stream, here we are. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna grab Dishonored, which is somewhere here to do. Dishonored, oh, it's second top of my list. We'll drag that into in progress. Bioshock, the collection has now been completed. We didn't play number two. Actually, I'll leave it in progress. We'll come back to that. Plague's Tale is in there. What were we playing? We added we had a new one that we added to the list, which I'm going to add now, which is Layers of Fear. And that one's completed. I'm going to drag that to completed, but it hasn't been reviewed yet. Um, yeah, Dishonored is in in uh, 
progress. Where's the order 1886? Ah, it's over in suggestions. I'm going to drag that over into to do it. I'm going to put it somewhere near the top. Below God of War, below... Oh, Night in the Woods. I'm going to take that now and I'm going to put that in. Abandoned. Or maybe I'm going to take that back into... Put it into suggestions and put it right down the bottom of the list. Alright, cool. No worries. Got to keep your backlog up to date, peeps. And Resium. Quality boots for all that next step and you're going to be doing as a guard. Thump the snake. Yard. Uh, where's the interrogation room? Where's my map? Oh, I love a mini, a good mini map. Find the explosives. Don't have to keep your backlog up to date if you never get around to what's on it. <laughs> exactly. Actually, you know what you can do? You can go back there a little bit. Oh, I lost me bloody hand. Uh, proceed across the walkway to the interrogation room. Okay. Attention. Every time the that goes off, I feel like off limits to maintenance crews. I feel like I've set up an alarm. by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. So then just say at least one week in advance. Halt! Although it's personnel only. Ooh! Come with me for a second, would you, buddy? Cheers! <laughs> People are going to be wondering, why are all these swords just hanging around here? Oh, you can throw them? Who's throwing a body? Who throws a grown man? Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. No plus ones. I, I feel like I shouldn't be running around. What's in there? There's no key to that door. Interrogation room. Oh, look at that. That's some... It smells a little like Nazi Germany. Very dark. That sounds so very much. Maintenance crew, unless accompanied by an officer right. of the walk. Escort through the solitary wing. Oh, is there blood on the floor? Probably. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, those are my explosives, probably. It's a painting, I hope. Alright, cool. Oh, we can save. It's a top. Pick up the explosive. Oh no, that's a fire. Oh dear lord. Oh yeah, there's the blood. Think, drink. Oh, okay, sorry. Ahem, excuse me. Alright. in lockers I want to open some lockers I miss opening and closing drawers ah audiograph player here we go Corvo's unconscious again 
though he's taken more punishment than in two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Okay. Don't think that tells us too much more. How is it reading the autograph off the punch card to pull the inside of Uh, because science. Who knows, man? Yeah. Are they punch cards? Can you see through it? You can see through them. I imagine, here's what I imagine. The means, the means for playback um, are not the card. The card is merely the, uh, like, a, like a key to prove that like, I am authorized to listen to this. And then there's some other hidden mechanism inside it that actually plays back the sound. It could be a wax cylinder. Maybe that's it there in the front that we're seeing. Uh, who knows? Does that make sense? Thank you. See, there's always the bullshit excuse. <laughs> Uh, is it safe? Are we safe? Is there any paprika? Empty bottle. Alright, no, I just want to put it on the table. Can I just put it on the table? Oh, <laughs> it just knocked that one down. I love how it gets bigger. Where do I get to spend the money? That's what I'm curious about. I love that there are things you can throw to to get people to move around. That's very cool. I like how, I like the stealth in Spider-Man. It's so easy and so casual. Scary says I've actually started saying I'll pay that, and I blame Shifty entirely for it. Oh really? <laughs> Souls. I think what you meant to say was you'll thank thank Shifty entirely for it. I love how I just knew how to open that, by the way. Oh, what's in here? The Trials of Aptitude. Except from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned... I don't know why the accent. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, they're kidnapped and replaced with Flash clones and uh, inducted into the Spartan 2 program. Some hours before dawn, must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual, pre ritual preparation, see circumcision, and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain when they make the pilgrimage to Whitecliff. During an elaborate ceremony it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. What the fuck? This guy is the fastest drawer in the West. Hey, pulls that pistol out. Let's have a look. I'm not doing it. Ready? Yes, he is. He's pretty good. Okay. Trials of aptitude. Or or why we have a big pile of dead children outside of town. Do I, do I have that in my inventory now? Do I get to refer back to that later? Notes. Books. Yay! Audiographs. Yay! Oh, yeah. Me lucky. Okay. Uh, now, I had to blow something up. I like, again, the rewards exploration because I really like to poke around. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Oh! Yes! Look at that. Can I shimmy across here? Oh! I'm, I, I am Batman!
That is cool. The only problem is, once these guys see you, you can't get away. What I like about Arkham Asylum when you're Batman and you're stealthing up in the rafters. Hey, Eddie, how are you, buddy? Thank you. Uh, it comes and goes. <laughs> Sometimes my uh, my chest disappears, but you know, them's the breaks. How are you doing this fine evening? You've caught me close to the end of the stream. We haven't got a lot of time left. Can I get onto that? I think I can. Oh, look at me go. What was I saying? Oh yeah, with with Batman you can you can just like grapple somewhere out of the way and then and then hide and they won't see you. I don't know how the hell I meant to like get up and hide in a in a place like this once um, if I'm trying to get away from anybody. And if I'm not trying to get away from anyone, then why am I up here? Probably because I don't know, because it's fun. You're, oh, you were singing karaoke. Awesome. On stream or at a bar? At home, just for fun. Oh, dude. Attention. Tomorrow's execution does sound like fun. Restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. So I need to get across there. Do I? Can I walk through here? Oh, shit. Oh, what? Boo, that sucks. I I don't know why I thought the left trigger would be okay. I think I was trying to like ADS or something. Uh, yeah, just load, baby. Damn, that sucks. I don't want to have a gun in my left hand. What am I, left-handed? The journal. Pressing this particular button to access the journal, there can you can review mission objectives and stuff like that. Yep, no worries, I'm down with that. And it looks like we've already got the. Um, it looks like we've already got in our inventory the bomb. Uh, sorry, gadgets, ammo, upgrades, keyring, resources. Oh dear. Cross the yard. Oh dear. Was there a mistake? Do we have the explosives? I'm looking here at my objectives and there's... Oh, plant the explosive. Okay, yeah, sure. Shut up, Shifty. Alright, cool. And we've already got that book. So, inventory... No, notes? Notes. Books. No, we haven't. So now we'll read the book. We read this. We are unsettled. And now we can continue. Oh, money on the table. Good. What's the hook for? Jesus. Order shall provide. This whole place, um, it's got a real dystopian vibe to it. I feel like it's a bit shitty that I was actually part of this machine. What's left bumper do? That's what I want to know. Let's save and then find out what left bumper does. One, two, three. Oh, that's me old wheel. So from this wheel I can hit B and charge up some health. Assigned to the event and approved Sorry. dignitaries only. I was gonna report that boiler thing yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Do you like to move it?
Do the rats give my position away? That's what I want to know. Huh? Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! That's... I'm calling bullshit on that. One, two, three. Oh, that's a nice speedy save. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved date. So, oh, sorry. My objective is to get across this yard. Do I have to go down there? Oh. Control room. Yes. Is that the only way across there? Yeah, I think so. I'm moving. Oh, I can see his shadow, this is good. See, I'm leaning, I'm not meant to be, he's huh? not meant to, he's not meant to, you can't see me! Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Bug someone else. What are you doing? You can't see me! I'm in shadow! You fucking talk <laughs> Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied oh, by an officer. And he doesn't see me there. You have gotta be kidding me. Solitary wing must be scheduled I'm up for the night. Have a good one, dude. I uh, hope you feel better. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed a little glimpse of the game. We'll be playing more of it on Wednesday. In that, I won't be chatting for half of the stream. <laughs> unless you guys get me talking about Halo again. Ask me, ask me what I think's better Halo or Call of Duty. And, uh,. uh <laughs> Just watch me go. With one week's notice. Alright. Hey guys, go. Guys, dead. <laughs> the morning. Okay, I'm gonna just be a sneaky boy. Looks like a rat. Oh no, it's a dog. Oh, gross. Alright, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna be safe scumming hard. <sighs> fucking longer do I have to fuck. Oh, my gun wants that guy. You ready? Ooh, he's aiming at it. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved. Come with me real quick. That guy, see, it's so inconsistent there. I'm gonna take this guy out. Leave no witnesses. I should probably save it. Ah! <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I love how fast that is. <laughs> You're a bad person. Oh, I threw it. Is off limits to maintenance crew, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Did I get and today? Loot. The solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with okay, one cool. week's notice. So now I feel like I can look around the area and really, um, you know, get any money or whatever's over here. Hey, rats. Hello. Three bullets only, that's pretty. Corvo's right, execution shit. is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but I'm... One, two. He has to be set up today. 
I can't wait to see his hand roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. Yo, what makes you think I did it? Control room, all right. Hey, about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress. Shut up. Attention. Tomorrow's <laughs> execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Don't mind if I do. Damn it. Take out his legs. Oopsie daisies. Be set up today. Oh, I love how fast that loads. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. So he turns his back now. Should be able to get in there. How do I get in there? Huh? What the fuck? Attention. Ah! I knew it was a ballsy move. I knew it was a ballsy move. He turns his back. He walks off. I wonder how many guys there are in there. He set up today. I can't wait to see his hand roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. He turns around, he walks off. I should be able to kill this guy. I mean, incapacitate him. Attention. Tomorrow's execution. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, so there's a guy there. Oh, Parry. You just put your enemy off balance by blocking with perfect timing. Thank you. I'll do what I can. Now press right trigger to cut that fucker's head off. All right, cool. Dignitaries fall down already. Oh. Dad, watch it. Take it. Get him. Is that is that a parry? I'm just practicing my parry. The river. Nah, not good enough. No, too sl too slow. Beat him to the house. Yum yum yum. I'm dog meat. All right. To be set up today. I can't wait to see his hand roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. All right, how am I gonna get through here? So he looks off there. He goes around there. I can't. I've got this. Bits of cover here. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned tonight? to the event tonight? and approved Another dignitaries only. So who saw me? That other guy must have seen me. He's walking off. He turned around on me, didn't he? Yeah. He's walking off still. Oh, he's walking over there. He's got a whole freaking thing in there. Okay, so just gotta wait for this guy to walk up. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. <laughs> Stinking lousy piece of crap. <clears throat> oh, see, he's keeping in step. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I saw it. To make Unless accompanied by an officer of the law. Too slow. All right. What are we gonna try? To be set up today. I can't wait to see his hand roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. I hear what you're saying, uh, and you're 100% right. I need to save now after that annoying bit of dialogue. He goes. No, he doesn't. He walks into the corner. It's a different guy. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved Shit. dignitaries. I'm not in a good only. spot. About that dice game? Blow off. <coughs> Is he going to turn around? If I was fast, I could have got him, but it's too late now. 
damn it. He's gonna turn around now. He's gonna go that way. Nothing, everything's fine. Be so easy if I could just kill these fuckers. <laughs> is he facing me or facing away? Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by right, an officer. So this of the guy escort here. The oh, I love this keyhole mechanic. Scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? Shut up. Oh! <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look through the keyhole. Oh. Where's he gonna go? Man, it's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Fuck. Licks you. Bunch of crap. Damn it. <coughs> Alright, he's got his back turned. I can see he's got his back turned. No, no. no now he's turned around at us. He turns around his backs to me. I reckon I could grab attention. Ah! God damn it. Did I save the game once I was in there? I bet you I freaking didn't. No, I didn't. Is he gonna walk over there and stop him turn around? Right? Yeah, he is. Attention. Oh Tomorrow's no, this execution. whole bit I will should've be saved. The personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Oh no, stupid goddamn. No, I'm so Got him. Alright, cool. So, when you pick them up, you automatically loot them, and then just stick them in the corner there. And you save. Let's check in here. He's over there with his back turned, but he's going to be turning around now, and marching over here. Come on, come over here, turn your back to me, buddy. his footsteps where is he he should be all mine now because he's got no one to cover for him where are you you bastard oh here he comes Time to save. Reminds me a little bit of stealthing it up in um, Spider-Man, which was actually quite enjoyable. <coughs> there you go. There you go. He looks like a centurion. No, no, stupid cut. No fun, son of Marlon. Gotcha. Attention. Tomorrow's execution God, will I'm be strong. restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. You can hang out here with your dude bros. Split. Come on, keep it cozy. You don't want to get cold. Where's the other guy gone? He <laughs> just, just clipped off somewhere, I guess. All right. Close the door. Tin of potted 
<laughs> whale meat. Don't need it. Eat. No, I don't want to eat it. Even though it sounds great. Uh, bullets. Yes, I will have you. Attention. The solitary Single coins. Ooh, hello. Let's save before we do anything with that. Ooh, it's 10.09. I tell you what, let's crank this lever and then see what happens. But I think we're going to pull up there. Oh, more money. Into the hallway leading to the airports. That's going to draw some attention. <laughs> Not very subtle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's finish up there. <laughs> um, awesome. All right, cool. Well, it's very very late, and uh, we actually, yeah, I'm very very tired. I'm about to like lose consciousness at any second, but um, I've actually uh, had a good time uh, playing this game so far. So yeah. Thumbs up. Really, really enjoying it. It's super stealthy. Good to see that you're still with us, Scary. Lurky, lurky, lurky. A little bit of worky. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit, a little bit slow. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the patience to do like a no kill playthrough. Um, if I knew I was doing the no kill th playthrough, I might have gone um, for like normal difficulty. You just spent $500 AUD. Wow. Uh, let me guess. On uh, PS5? Xbox Series X. 10, 10 ton of licorice. Did you give Shifty a shitload of subs because that's the only acceptable use for that cash? Yes, yeah, right. AUD. What else are you going to buy AUD? Oh, yes. Now, now that's probably... Uh, an acceptable use, I would imagine. New streaming station. Is it one of those Formula One rigs where they've got, you know, the seat and the pedals and stuff? Is it, uh, is it a computer box? Oh, no, it's a... Um, right. Excuse me? <laughs> Ikea Deliver? Man, congrats. That's cool. I can't wait to see it. Can you please film the two of you constructing it together? That would be so good. <laughs> I know people shit on IKEA for like like build it, like, you know, how hard it is to construct things or how much of a pain in the ass it is, but I like it. I like constructing. That's my favorite thing about buying stuff from IKEA is is putting it together. I need a first video of my Scare Lab After Dark channel. Ooh. Intriguing. Um, Ikea over here is pretty decent, I find. Yeah, I mean, you, you get... Over here, I like it as well. It, you get you get what you pay for, and it's... Yeah, we've bought a lot of stuff from Ikea that we have in our house, and it's mostly good. My entertainment unit, which I'm looking at right now, which you've probably seen, um, that I've posted in the Discord before, like, it's, it's very decent. I did modify it slightly, but, um, yeah, it's very cool. This couch I'm sitting on is from Ikea, for example. But Matt, are you being serious right now? Or are you winding? I couldn't, I couldn't tell. I wouldn't put money either way. I wouldn't put money either way. Um, I have had some bedside cabinets from Ikea that have been a little bit rat shit. But, you know, like, you know, they, they have some cheap stuff. They have some, some good stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's nice when you need entry-level stuff and uh, you you don't want to go to Fantastic Furniture. I'm not winding. Oh, dude, I've got to see this. <laughs> I'm not winding. I'm dead. Lol. Get him. Yay! Yay, dude. Go confetti. I just want to try something, by the way. Oh, no, that's not going to work, is it? No, maybe it might work. I just want to try something. I'm not sure if this will work. No, it didn't work. 
I can't remember whether I added the rooster sound or not. You're just sick of the goddamn ca ca cables. Man, I can't wait to see this. Yeah, it's not something extravagant, but it will get you out of the dining room. <laughs> get out of my dining room. Oh, dude, if you, if you, would you be able to link us to link it, uh, link us to it, link it to us? I'm keen to, I'm keen to see it. If you, if you wouldn't mind putting a link in the, in the discord. Or if you want to wait for the grand reveal, by all means do. It's all bits. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Um, and, uh, that we'll, uh, we'll catch up again on Wednesday. Not a single link I can send, sadly. Oh, okay. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'm intrigued. Uh, show me your new setup. Let us live vicariously through you. Um, I wanted to say before we went a huge thank you to Scary La to Scary Labs to Scary for um for the sub and also to to Mattman for the sub. You're both here. Thank you very much. You just got the parts later. Awesome. Have you done that thing where it's drawers and then a topper? Scary Labs is <laughs> your alt channel name. Scary Labs. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, yes. Anyway, thank you very much for your contribution to the channel. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, and, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on, um, on Wednesday. I look forward to seeing your stream again next, um, when that's, when that's possible, when you're too busy. And, uh, hopefully by Wednesday I will, uh, I'll have, I'll be all mended and, uh, uh my head won't hurt. I won't be, uh, semi-conscious. All that sort of stuff. Anyway, it's been great catching up with you. Thank you to everyone who stopped by and everyone that said good day. Uh, Doom, it was good to, to see you as well. Kuro, thanks for hanging out. Of course, Matt Man. Uh, don't forget, I just thought you guys might like, I was reminded of this today. Um, there's an Uru command. Get well soon, Shifty. If you're too ill to chat tomorrow, let me know. I uh, can push it. Uh, <laughs> I was going through my command list today and I, I saw that. Um, I also added an Easter egg. I added an Easter egg to ShiftyBot. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, and you can't get it by looking at a list of commands because it's not in stream elements. It is, uh, it's something that I rolled myself. So you'll just have to wait until we hit it. No, it is not Matt Man. <laughs> uh, we'll forget about it. You know, in a few months time, it'll, it'll pop up. Uh, but no, I'm I'm down for tomorrow. No, fuck off with your YouTube nonsense. <laughs> yes, that's still there. Don't worry. When I when I finally create my YouTube channel um, and get there and post my first video, you will know about it the second it happens. You never corrected the spelling mistake. Oh, where is it? Sorry, Shifty doesn't have a YouTube channel yet. Uh, get your act together. Uh, no, wait. Channel? Is I spelled channel wrong? Uh, oh, Shifty doesn't have a YouTube. Sorry. Now is probably not the best time to try and point it out to me because my eyes are not working. Shifty doesn't have a Y-O-U-T-U-B-E channel yet. Is channel misspelled? Wait, doesn't? Oh, right. There's an E missing. Yes. It's meant to be. Yeah, it's meant to be doesn't. Eh. <laughs> People don't come here for the spelling scary. <laughs> um, you, should I fix it right now? Yeah, fine. Fuck it. I'll fix it right now. Kind of have people thinking I'm illiterate. Uh, where are we? Uh, let's go to, was it Streamlabs? Stream Elements. And let's take me to my dashboard. And we have a chat bot. So let's go chat bot. Boop. Uh, chat commands. Is it custom commands? It is custom commands. Uh, YouTube. Let's go to uh, Oh yes, yeah, like straight away. It doesn't. 
save. Cool. All right. And just like that, <laughs> bronze. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry, I just saw the Kuros link, uh, Fronds, in the Discord. There you go. Thank you. Feed feedback is important. It's how we learn. Hey, Jaded. I was just signing off. I was just signing off. Um. Yes. Oh, dude, CPU usage is 21.7% when we're on the big screen like this. All right, cool. Um, The YouTube stuff is coming. Like, uh, I, I've just... Uh, it is something that I'm, I'm really, I'm really interested in doing, but I, I want to also make sure I do it properly. Just make sure we launch it properly. Shifty doth have a YouTube through, <laughs> through yonder window breaks. Um, something. I don't know if I knew any Shakespeare, I'd make a really smart Shakespeare reference, but I don't. Happy to see you in the shirt again, by the way. Yes, it is nice and comfortable. I do like it. The, uh, what is this, a crew? No, this is a V-neck. The crew neck is around one. Hey! Dane, nine months. Wow. Mate. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, thank you very much. Shout out. Oh, so something that I'm working on is also a nice, something, a, a little on-screen shout out. Because I really like, um, I like the clips. That's a really cool idea that you guys are doing. But I'm, I, I'm not sure that's the way I want to go with my shout outs, but I would really like to have something pop up on screen like, uh, you know, uh, something like, oh gosh, where are you, Mr. Mouse? We go like, you know, Dan rules. Something like that. Um, and, uh, something a little bit more, uh, something with a bit more on-screen presence that's not necessarily a full-screen um, takeover, but something really decent um, like that might be cool for a shout-out. I think my shout-outs need to be taken up a notch. Um, yes, but Dane, glad you could... <laughs> shift out. Glad, gra glad you could catch us. I'm just, uh, just heading out. Oh, Dane, you might have missed this, but check this out. I'm green screening, bro. Check it out. Um, yeah, so you missed this earlier. I just thought you might like to see that. That's pretty cool. My arm does get cut off if I go too far out here, though. Meh, meh. Not too far up here. But here's good. Never want your streams to end because you're amazing. Go the fuck to bed. Thank you. I will. I will go to bed. I'll go to bed. All right, cool. I could sit here and chat all night until I lose consciousness, but I will not. Um, I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, we could raid something. I've actually got enough people to raid somebody at the moment. So, um, yeah, let's do, let's do that. I'm going to go over to my stream, uh, manager, uh, go raid channel. Who's awake to raid today? Uh, uh, Nupti is doing karaoke. How about that? Let's go, let's go raid him. Who doesn't love karaoke? Who doesn't love Nupti? Okay, so now I'm going to click start raid. Oh, it doesn't like that. Cool. All right, we're going to raid Nupti. Nupti's doing some karaoke. Um, show him some love. I am going to hit my ending screen and then I'm going to click raid now as per uh, Scary's instruction. So thank you again, everyone who dropped by. It's been Really awesome hanging out with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again on Wednesday. Um, yeah. Peace out. Have a good sleep. Bye.